tell your team when you're down 21 that early? I mean, all you can do is keep battling. And, you know, you always talk about getting it to, you know, each time out, cutting five, six points off. And, and to their credit, they, they did um, cut it to nine at halftime. We had 11 straight shutouts to finish the half. Um, a little more efficient on offense maybe helps. I think we shut them out at least the first possession of the second half. I don't know what, I can't remember after that, but, uh, you know, we gave ourselves a chance, and then obviously Tyrese goes down, and I hope he's okay. Um, you know, and then uh, they, they struggled. We turned them over. We got back into it, cut it to four, but it's that. I told them at halftime, you're going to have one chance to win the game, but you're going to have to be – perfect in that and execute in that stretch to give yourself a chance. And um, they were the ones that made the play. Credit to Nixon. He gets a steal, a casual pass, uh, you know, and then he hits the tough shot. Uh, I thought it should have been a switch. Um, and then, you know, we've all year we've been hurt by other guys, and obviously Lewis stepped up huge for them. Nixon stepped up huge. And, and you know, they're big guys. We Solomon has played well. It was a – Second thing on the board, first thing was transition, defense. The, first, the second thing then was post-defense. And we didn't do a very good job on either one of them to start the game. Game went on. We got better. But, uh, you know, when you spot yourself like we did today, Baylor, whoever, it's tough to come back and, and uh, find a way to win. You just referenced all those big 12 games where you kind of fell behind big. Is there any common denominator other than, you know, missed shots or – yeah, I mean, you know, free throws, you look at free throws, 10 for 18, they're 19 for 20. I think in the first half, um, we we're 5 for 10. And we, you know, if you just, and that when they're making that run, we make a few. One, once we miss, I think Mike missed two free throws, and they beat us down and got an and one on the other end. And you can't have that. You know, you, if, if you're, you know, and those, that's just, you know, it's, you got to be better than that. And, uh, you know, it just, I, you know, we knew they played well. We told the guys they played well here. They just got 89 against uh, Oklahoma State. Uh, they they scored a bunch against Oklahoma, um, and and you know we just said you got to be determined early. We got to get we got to have great defensive effort. But um, you know I think a lot of it part of it was our offense early turnovers. Miss I think we turned it over three first three possessions, or at least three out of the first four, and. Uh, so not very sharp to start the game, there's no doubt. When, when you're getting the guys ready for, for these games like this, I mean, are you noticing a lack of focus at all, or is it just they get on the floor and things kind of fall apart? I just I, – I, I don't think so. I think they come back. I gave them two days off. Um, most of them I mentioned the other day, they were in there shooting. Even when I gave them time off, um, they got into weight room, got into film on their own. Um, so they care. It's just, you know, it's uh, – and I've joked about a Groundhog Day. It's just Groundhog Day again and again. Problem is, Bill Murray can change something. I can't change it. Car Cartier had a nice bounce back game after kind of a week where his name was in the media a lot. I mean, do, do you think that fired him up at all? I hope so. I just, that's why I started him. I said, it's your chance. Go, go out there and do play. But he's still, he's still got to be better, you know, if we're going to win. Uh, he had some, he had good numbers, but. Still got to be a little better, make some better reads. I thought early we didn't make very good reads. They, they blocked nine nine shots. I think it was seven at halftime. And that means when you're driving, if they're coming, that means somebody's got to be open and you've got to make the right read. And I thought that was when you asked about the beginning of the game, that was part of the problem also, beside the turnovers. Xavier doing all right? What was Cartier? He has had a hip uh, injury. Uh, I don't know how it – I think it was on the layup at, near the end of the half when – he went in and he landed on it. Um, they they treated it at halftime. He felt okay, and then uh, late in the game, it was it was just really aggravating. I, you know, our guys played hard. We had three, I think, three guys cramping during the game. So, uh, but when you're trying to scramble back like that, you, you're exerting a lot of energy, and that made it tough. It's, I mean, obviously it's it's tough. It's disappointing. Um, I just told Wyatt and Stan on the radio, uh, but that's my job to help them and keep getting them to come back. They've, they've been pretty resilient, but uh, they got to be a little, little tougher, more exact when it comes down to it. So I would expect a great effort on Tuesday night against Oklahoma State. It will not be easy. They, 
they just beat TCU. They got their first win by double digits and then gave Baylor a heck of a game today from what I saw in the locker room. Um, so we got to we got to come ready to play. Uh, Montavious didn't play as much tonight as he typically does. Was it just matchup related, or I just uh, he's been really good, but uh, tonight it was not his night. He just seemed to be like a step behind, uh, wrong spots, wrong you know. And he's been great, you know. He gosh, we've gotten so much out of him, but um, tonight he was, and even he's still 18 minutes. He's minus three. That's better than some other guys. So, but. Uh, and I thought Antonio gave us good minutes in the first half, or his energy. We went two with the two freshmen at one time, some of those, because we had so much foul trouble. But uh, it would have been nice. Antonio hit one of those threes in the second half, but they didn't go down. And, uh, you, know, it's a, you know, it makes it tough. Got to play a little better. What did you like that Cartier brought today, given what they've been in the um, You know, he – Obviously, he made some shots, um, and that that helps. And uh, you know, he, I think he's got to take what the defense gives him. That's where he's got to make some strides as a player. You drive in there. If there's somebody there, you got to make the right play. You can't make a decision ahead of time. But he he def, obviously gave us a spark. Got us, you know, the whole thing. I start him, but what happens to the game? Where were we? down by a massive amount of points. So I guess it wasn't a good decision. But to his credit, he kept playing and, and got us going and got us back in the game. O Oklahoma State got a win this week and then battled Baylor really close today. How big is that game considering? It's a, you know, it's a home game. Just like, you know, we knew they would be very determined. They had a chance. They had lost four in a row. They, they came out like they were mad today. And that, you know, and that's hopefully we can come with that same determination. On, uh, on Tuesday night.